um, a shoe and uh, a leg here. Kind of looks very Ren and Stimpy-esque. Uh, so if you notice, I'm going to just select it, and it's still artwork. So it's only been painted. You can see it can be pulled apart if I did that. Um, so what we need to do to prepare something for the bone tool, we draw it out on a frame here. And this doesn't belong here. Let me just trash this layer. Okay, we have layer one. Okay, so we're selected on it. And there's a few ways of selecting everything on this on the frame is one by clicking the frame, and the other is to just drag a big box around it with the move tool. Okay, so you can see that I'm selected on it because I can see the dotted um, texture. It's all selected. I'm now going to go over to this tool right here, the bone tool. And if I click on the bone tool, I'm going to make joints. So let's get a little closer. You can see this a little bit better. Let me go to uh, maybe 150% here. Okay. And while it's selected, I'm going to start at the top here and I'm going to drag down to where the knee joint would be and let go and then drag down to where the foot socket would be and or the ankle right there. So it's done. The next thing we do is we take the move tool and I'm going to grab the last joint that I dragged out and move it. And you can see that it will animate on its own. It's not a perfect tool. You can see it has some trouble in some areas, especially if you really bend it. But it's just, it has a look to it, and it's acceptable to have those imperfections. So, you can see we could eventually animate this to make a kick, okay? And that's what we'll do right now. So, I'm going to undo some of those moves, so it's straight back down. And notice when we drag out the bone tool joints, something appears on our layers. It's called an armature. Now it's only label number three because I think I did a f this a few times before I made this video, but it might say amateur or armature one for you. And notice that if I just click off, or I, sorry I can't, but you could see that it's a green shaded frame. So to animate this, it's just like a classic tween. I'm going to come out to 30. I'm going to press F6. You can see it's already shaded green. And if we were going to do a kick, I would wind up first. So I'm going to wind up here. And if I scrub this, you can see that happening. And now it's going to kick. So the kick would be about three times as fast as the wind up. So I'm going to go to 40 and press F6 and then take this last joint here and kick like that all the way up and you can see that happening so he winds up and he kicks and then we'll have him come back down maybe I'll press F6 at 60 grab that last anchor there and or that last um, bone and there so you can see it's kind of automatically tweening in between the keyframes that I'm making. So let's just play that. All right, excellent. Now if I wanted to kick something, let's just make a box here on this layer. Maybe I notice it. Uh, what it does is it when you add the armature, the bone tool it removes the drawing from the original layer and places it on the armature. So this layer one is actually a blank layer now. I'm going to go to that layer and I'm just going to, I'll just create a little square here and maybe just um, change the color so don't get confused. Okay, and I'm going to select this whole thing and let's go to modify convert to symbol because I want it to be a graphic. I'm going to just animate this. I'll call it box. Okay. All right. I'll put it right over here. And if I wanted to kick this, 
Notice it doesn't last very long, so I'm going to press F5 as just filler space so it stays here for a while. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at where the foot will hit it for the first time, which it's kind of, well, it's going to have to be here. And I'm going to press F6, but I'm not going to move the cube yet or the square yet because it stays here, it stays, stays, stays until this long. And now it's going to kick it. So it's going to move pretty quick because this foot really launches through. So maybe to here, F6, and I'm going to move it off and away. I'm going to right click in between those two keyframes in the gray area to create a classic tween. And you can see now when it kicks it, it will fly away. And let's just return and play that. Good. Let's command return to export. Excellent. So, this is the bone tool, and this is one way of using the bone tool. There are actually two ways. One way is to use it with a drawing, which is what I did here. And the second way, which I'll get into in my next video, is using the bone tool with graphics. Okay. Uh, good luck. Give it a try, and I'll see you soon.